Hi, so welcome to another tutorial with me. Today I'm going to show you the way I select my photos, um, how I um, choose which ones I'm going to use really. I've narrowed it down on my phone, um, you'll see what images I've taken and I've emailed them to myself and I'm going to look at them on the computer um, and go through them that way so you can see how I do it. I'm just going to copy these. I haven't done this yet so you're going to be looking at them with me for the first time. And if you're wondering, I use the Olo clip for the, the iPhone to take these. See, that one's not very good, so let's delete that one. That one's okay. Snail. That one's not very good. So I'm just doing the narrowing down process. Um, oh, that one's quite good there. And then I have to choose. I think that's probably the best one there. So then I'd look up... Um, 3680 and I'll let's go into Photoshop and let's open from the desktop 3680 there we go so what I do from here I'll just have a look um, try and increase the clarity and everything so I'm going to go to filter camera raw filter my second favorite tool in Photoshop okay exposure I think it's bright enough or maybe we can just turn it down a little bit there we go so the background's gone down so it brings out the, the drop a little bit more contrast let's play with the contrast yeah, I like that. There we go. Let's not take it up so high. Let's take it up to 30. There we go. Highlights. Um, let's take that down. I'll we'll take it down to 35. And 36. Um, the whites. Should we take the whites down or leave them up? Let's take them down just a little bit. Let's take it down to maybe minus 10. And the blacks aren't many blacks there, but I actually quite like it down. Brings out the droplet more. Brings down this part a lot, so it makes it stand out over here a lot more. Clarity, let's take the clarity up. Not so much, maybe to about 20. Right, so that looks good. Let's go to the HSL and grayscale. The greens, should we make them more green? Or is that maybe up to about 15 for the green ones? The yellows, we don't really have much yellow. This would probably be classed as yellow along here. Um, yeah, I don't really like that. So let's take it back down to zero. Okay, so that's under the hue. The saturation, the greens, let's make them just pop a little bit more. Not that much. Let's see. 15. 15 looks good. Um, the luminance that adds a bit of a blur as well to it. So I don't know if you really want to do that. Um, let's just add it to plus 10. Okay. We want to go to the FX tab over here. And Dehaze, as you probably know from my last tutorial. I love that tool. Okay, let's take it up to about about plus 40. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do in there. Wow, look at that. Okay, so that's the opening image. And that's the final result. I quite like the look of that. Okay, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. Um, my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash photomedics. Got plenty more to come and I'll just put a tab up now for a note up now for my, my website. Thank you.